Okay, so I modded Ag Open GPS to use the dual heading as the IMU. So I've added a yet another checkbox here, dual as IMU. And now this goes fully GPS and no IMU to all IMU. Well, here you can see the difference. Here now it's at 99. See the lag difference between this so now we're at 99 so now if we change the heading you can see how slowly it goes down this is your actual desired heading remember the IMU is mixing in with the GPS reading of course they're the same because it it's a generated signal but um, takes forever to get to 223 so now you got a two degrees drift on it so if we take something more say even 50 50 uh, see watch that how fast that corrects now see and that's that balance that you have to be always mindful of see it takes a little while so if you're on a side hill that took what a couple seconds even if it's just a few degrees so now your fix is going to is going to be your actual course or the direction that your vehicle is traveling and then the IMU which is your dual heading if it's sitting on a funky angle then that will be fused out of it based on everything takes so long to get to based on this slider so if you want it slower now the trade off of course is the farther you're this way the more susceptible you are to points that go here, 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 and that sort of thing. But with RTK, and since you have dual, then your fixed trigger distance is, is can be shorter, and your points should be straighter. But then, again, with dual and the rapid roll compensation you have, it should work really, really well. So I think you're kind of getting the best of both worlds, because you've got an ESP-corrected roll and your fixes should be in a line so you could use a very short fixed trigger distance which should lower the delay lots of shoulds here but uh yeah should so that's all you do you select uh antenna type heading type is fix and dual is imu and then just play around with it go for a drive so kind of the way this works is in the udp this is for the geeks. Uh, this is coming in from AgIO. This is from the simulator. And if the uh, heading is a valid heading, then normally this true dual is what's used as our heading in the dual calculations of the position designer. And we're just spoofing the, uh, the IMU heading using that value and just plugging it right into the IMU value. And then in the position designer, where single is all calculated out, and we get to IMU. IMU is no longer 9999, meaning that there's nothing connected. And it just thinks that it's using an IMU when, in fact, it's using dual. So extremely very little code changes to do that. So, and then, yeah, now you're going to have kind of the same issues with backing up and going forward, but it should work pretty good because dual is quite stable. So uh, I'll throw this up on, on the main branch as an EXE and the code, or actually it's, it's called sticky. There's a branch called sticky and that's where it's going to be in. And I'll provide a link for that. Anyway, that's uh, more than you probably wanted to know, but that's the gist of it. Only took a few minutes to code this. So good. Thanks.